Thanks for watching Honey Bee RC. Today I'm going to do the last hive inspections of the season. It's getting kind of cold. It's getting towards mid-October. So it's time for me to shut these hives up for the winter. I'm going to show you what I do. Um, this hive here is more of my oldest and its name is Ingolf. So let's see what Ingolf is doing. Alright, this is hive Ingolf and uh, the upper box is empty. This is a medium medium frame, medium box on the very top and they don't have any honey in the mediums so this is usually where um, I take for personal use you know that I don't rob from the bees in the lower boxes because they use that but whenever they get to the mediums up top that means uh, it's for um, production and they haven't done much this year but they, they started the year really weak so I'm not really surprised. So we're just going to take off this top box and keep moving. Alright, I checked the uh, this box here, the top deep. And um, this hive has plenty of honey. They have eggs, the lay pattern on the queen. She's doing her job. She's, she's looking real tight. Uh, her lay pattern, not like a shotgun spray and pray pattern. Uh, everything on this hive looks good. I mean, from when they started this year, from now, going into winter, they're going to be real strong. So, I don't see any pests. There might be, you're going to have pests. I don't care what kind of beekeeper you are. You can claim you don't have mites or anything, but as long as you control your mites, uh, they're going to happen, right? You just don't want them to get out of control where they collapse the hive. Mites bring in disease and viruses and then your bees will become like zombies and just start lazing around and not taking care of the young bees and then it just forms a domino effect and your hive crashes. So let's carry on with the bottom box. Is it looking good? Son of a bitch. Sometimes these bees get out <laughs> of Ouch! Damn. All right, well, let me replace my glove, carry on. Ah. This is Hive Ingolf right here. Uh, I got wax paper at the bottom of their hive with Crisco, all natural shortening on it. The bees will land in the Crisco, they clean themselves off, but any pests that fall onto the wax paper over winter will not be able to. So this hive is really pissed off right now. I'm gonna close her back up and uh, head on to Ed. Alright, just a second. Alright, here we go. I got bees dying in my Crisco. I got making a mess with powdered sugar. The powdered sugar, when the bees clean themselves off, um, anything that I don't want in the hive will fall to the bottom into the Crisco. It works really good to control any issues or pests or anything like that. Bees will just clean themselves off and go about their business, and but they're pissed off right now. They are pissed off. Let's carry on. This is Hive Ingolf right here. Uh, I got wax paper at the bottom of their hive with Crisco, all natural shortening on it. The bees will land in the Crisco, they clean themselves off, but any pests that fall onto the wax paper over winter will not be able to. So this hive is really pissed off right now. I'm going to close her back up and uh, head on to Ed. All right, just a second. All right, here we go. I got bees dying in my Crisco. I got making a mess with powdered sugar. The powdered sugar, when the bees clean themselves off, um, anything that I don't want in the hive will fall to the bottom into the Crisco. It works really good to control any issues or pests or anything like that. Bees will just clean themselves off and go about their business, and but they're pissed off right now. They are pissed off. Let's carry on.